Sinus tachycardia is a condition in which the heart beats faster than normal. The heart rate is controlled by electrical signals generated in the SA node and sent across heart tissues to make it contract or beat. The SA node is a group of cells located in the wall of the right atrium of the heart. When these electrical impulses are transmitted normally throughout the heart tissue, it is referred to as normal sinus rhythm. Sinus tachycardia occurs when the heart generates rapid electrical signals that accelerate the heart rate beyond the range for normal. As per the definition, a heart rate of more than 100 beats per minute in an average adult constitutes sinus tachycardia. Generally, it is considered to be a harmless faster rhythm that happens with fever, excitement, and exercise. Scientifically, it is a response of the body to certain situations, such as exercise, anxiety, sudden outbursts of emotions, and states that induce sudden feelings of stress, fright, flight, or anger. It can also be caused by anemia, heart failure, hyperthyroidism, sepsis, dehydration, electrical shock, obstructive lung disease, and heart attack. Intake of caffeine, nicotine, cocaine, amphetamines, or other stimulants can also cause sinus tachycardia. Some of the lesser known causes are Kawasaki disease, pheochromocytoma, pulmonary embolism, and malignant hyperthermia. If a person is detected to have sinus tachycardia with no apparent reason, it's called inappropriate sinus tachycardia. Very often, sinus tachycardia does not give rise to any symptoms and settles on its own. However, if the heart rate is too high, cardiac output may fall and there may be increased workload on heart, giving rise to chest pain, palpitations, dizziness, shortness of breath, fainting, nausea, and heaviness in chest. Sinus tachycardia is easily detected on the ECG, but if heart rate is above 140 beats per minute, diagnosis can be challenging. In such cases, sinus tachycardia can be differentiated with other, more serious types of tachycardias by carotid sinus massage or Valsalva's maneuver, or by administering AV blocker medicines such as adenosine and verapamil. Sinus tachycardia often settles on its own. However, it can be hard to treat since if the underlying cause is not understood properly. Depending on how fast the heart rate is, the doctor might prescribe beta blockers or calcium channel blockers medicines. It is beneficial in the long run to avoid things and activities that could increase the heart rate, such as recreational drugs and emotionally draining situations. It is important to eat a heart-healthy diet, achieve physical fitness by exercising, and maintain a healthy body weight. For the cases that don't respond to medicines or lifestyle changes, a cardiac ablation procedure is needed. In this procedure, energy beam is used to destroy a tiny part of the heart tissue that's causing sinus tachycardia. The bottom line is that the treatment will likely involve a combination of medications and lifestyle changes if sinus tachycardia does not get corrected automatically. For more information about sinus tachycardia, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.